Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. So ladies, it's time for Full Circle. Uh -oh. Or do I have one? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have a good girlfriend mm -hmm. who says she will not date a man with children mm -hmm. because she feels that she won't get the, t the attention that she needs, desires, and deserves. <sighs> mm -hmm. Now, while I understand that, I kind of feel that it's a bit selfish. I, for instance, love a man who's not only financially involved in the kid's life, but actively, actively. involved in, in his kid's life. So it's, it, for me, it, it's, it, I'm attracted to that. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if I see a man taking care of his kid and he's involved, he's going to meetings at the school, he's at the, uh, the football and basketball practices, I'm like, oh, that's a good man right, right there. Right, right. But what, what do you think? Will you date a man that is... Uh, so, if you were not, if you were not married, no one's married here. Let's just okay, hypothetically speaking. So I, uh, my list, I had this list when I first um, was looking for where, whatever God was going to send me, and on my list was stuff, stuff that probably seems um, superficial to some Surface. people. Okay. Yeah, um, but I wanted a man with no kids. I wanted not superficial, but unrealistic. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a man with uh, from a two parent home. I wanted a, a guy fearing man like I got. And then I did. I got all those things in my husband. I did get those things in my husband. Now, fast forward, if I weren't married now and I'm 44 and I'm looking for someone and, uh, you know, and my whole world is different. Mm -hmm. I would totally be open to dating a man who had children. Um, my only setback or my only, the only thing that would kind of give me a little, uh, if they're that good of a husband or g good of a father, you're definitely second to their children. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. And I don't want to feel like I would be second. Now that's okay, all hypothetical, okay. yeah, you know? Yeah. That's what I wanted in the sense. beginning. Okay. But now at 44, God forbid anything happens to me and Smitty because I love everything about him. All right, now, yes. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I would totally be, I would be a little bit more open to right. dating a man with children. How about you, Lena? I did date a man with children, mm -hmm. with a child. Kiwan um, was, uh, had a baby out of a previous marriage. Mm -hmm. Kai was five years old when I met him. Um, the, the child is not the issue. Um, <laughs> it's not their fault. They were born, he was, he was married previous. Mm -hmm. Uh, my issue was not the child. Yeah, oh, what is it, though, Lena? Uh, if you're gonna date somebody that's <laughs> got cheering, uh, 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 make sure that they kind of, the kids is a little older. Okay. <laughs> okay. You feel me? That okay. the kids is like, you know, 10, 15 years so old. You 15, 16, you know. Because sometimes, when, if you see a man and he's a great dad, mm -hmm. he's a good father, mm -hmm. a lot of times the other woman is upset that he has found another woman. Mm -hmm. um, and everything is all good until he does find another woman. And then there becomes an issue for her because then she feels like, are you going to take time away from the kids? Mm -hmm. In which she could cause drama mm -hmm. because she doesn't want you to put that woman before the kids. Right. Now, any good woman will know the children need to come first that's and in a lot of instances and that's just the way that that's it just is. The way yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're babies. They need they need things. It is what it is. And sometimes, um, you know, the, his children will have to take precedence because they were there before you. Absolutely. And he doesn't know you. Mm -hmm. Just yet. Mm -hmm. You're not his wife. Right. Just mm -hmm. yet. Absolutely. However, and very quickly, um, if you do date a man that has children, you need to make sure that that man knows how to ascertain between balance. the importance. He has, he to, has have to have balance. balance. He has mm -hmm. to have balance. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind dating a man with kids if he had balance, especially at my age. You know, I'm 38 now. I'm probably going to date a man between 39 and 42, maybe 45. I don't know. And set child support have kids. payments. Mm. Don't date a man who has children who doesn't have set child support. If he says, oh, we good, we good, uh-uh, run for the hills. Make sure he has set child support payments that he is taking care of his children through the courts. First of all, <laughs> if a woman does not want her said boyfriend, whatever it is, to not spend time with her with his kids, shame on her. Shame mm -hmm. on her. You're, You're very selfish. Mm -hmm. And up. shame on this man if he allows a woman mm -hmm. to take the place of his children. Mm -hmm. Hello, because somebody. at the end of the day, your children, that's bone of your bone and flesh of your flesh. Yes. So at the at, at the end, when you guys aren't together anymore and you've allowed somebody to put a wedge hmm. between you and your kids, and then another woman comes and sets another wedge, what are you doing, Mr. Sir? Mm. Mm. Mr. Mm. Sir, mm. sir. Mm. Mm. That's Mr. not okay. Not okay. Do your kids come first? Absolutely. Freaking Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, the woman should want to get to know the children if Absolutely. she wants to see this man as a part of her life. Mm -hmm. yes. So what are you dating him for? Mm -hmm. 
He's a package deal, just so like a woman. If you're not trying to I get like to that. know these children, you need to go on step on your way. Yeah, because yeah. you're agree. wasting everybody's, everybody's time. Everybody's time. I agree, and I, and I think in her particular situation, she w was wanting to be involved with the children. In that particular case, there was no balance. She felt like she was the outsider. And hence, and, and, and even after they got married, she still felt like she was the outsider. And I, so that's why I say I do understand where she's coming from. But for me, uh, it's very attractive for me to, to see a man mm -hmm. actively involved in his kid's life. Because what that tells me, if there's ever a situation where he and I will come together as one, then I won't have to worry about doing everything on my own mm -hmm. as the, the primary children. parent. He's going to be a player. What energy is she putting out there to become an outsider? Mm. Because how are you making yourself involved? Because if you already have this thing like, mm, he's got kids, I don't want to get on. No, no, no. I don't saying. know. I don't know. So uh, I'm asking. I've got to well, ask. I'm going to set the record straight now. Mm -hmm. she, she was very much so wanting to be a part and actively mm -hmm. trying to uh, uh, create a, a bond with those mm -hmm. children. She really did. And I think he just never uh, acknowledged it or, or ever asked the kids to reciprocate that and, mm -hmm. and, it, and for them to create uh, a unit together. Wow. And that but was, I, also, that was, that was I also too think that um, just as you say, okay, um, it's okay to date a man with, with children, especially you know in our age group because it's going to be hard gonna to find anyway. Kids, child. But um, it's also okay to make the choice that you don't want to date. That's, that's true. Now, that's, well, true that's, now. The that's the way to wrap it with a bow. That's the way to wrap it with a bow. Selena, thank you so much. We want to know how you feel. Uh, please make sure you um, tell us your story at Sister Circle TV. All right.